What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and I'm back. Sorry about that uh, long video drought. It's like four or five days. But uh, since then, I am now actually number three because I just lost a ranked match. But we're going to record this, and we're going to try to get back to number one. It's going to take a few wins. But uh, anyways, I'm fine with Cancer being at number one. He's a fellow Badger, a nice guy. But sorry, but we're going to try to take that back. Um, we actually just lost to, to Overlord with this deck order which seems a little weird but i think i played fine but the reason i lost i think was because i drew i didn't draw a power trip until i was down to the last 10 cards in my deck which ultimately lost me the game so we had and we had a pretty bad draw we had terrible starting hand and he was able to get stuff out so we're gonna look for another ranked match here and i hope i can start winning some more ranked matches now i'm looking at the uh my deck here and I may make some adjustments because Greylock Elder and Ken Automaton are just not that good for their cost but I want something at those 5 and 6 slots because I go up to like 8-2 it's really tough I could try to go for the Echo Matons I don't know Tempest Reaver is, is cool as well But I think for now we're going to just stick with this deck. It served us well before that last match, which we got pretty terrible draws, but Doverlord is a very good order player nonetheless. And come on. Gotta get this back up. Okay, so just life things got in the way the past like week, so I haven't been really playing scrolls much. I'm a little rusty. But that is going to be uh, fine, I hope. Alright, come on. Find me a ranked match. My players are online. Only 270. It was like 400 last week. Okay, and here we go. Let's see if we can actually get a win now and start a winning streak back to number one. Is the goal, and it's double lord again. So we're gonna be facing order, and we're going second. And we now we get a I don't know about the starting. Yet. I guess it's good. I'm gonna say good because I can go a turn two smuggler, and I have a burn and a power trip that can make me get something big soon. Let's hope um, I can get this game done. This tough sack. I think I'm actually gonna have to sack the bounce dispersal because I want to keep the mashing maybe it's so versatile, and I want to have a higher and I might have to resort to an iron whip to uh, kill something. And he gets a two drop. Annoying, but we'll have to live. Sudden eruption can go. We're not nearly high enough resources to play that yet. Play that, and now if you move down and don't play anything in front of you, we could iron whip next turn. Pother, and what? Interesting play. Just pother me, I guess, for card draw. Now. I could just power trip to play something else, but that feels like a bad idea. I'm gonna hold off. I could power trip basically to like burn him or play a marksman. It would be nice if I get lucky with the burn and like draw like a two drop, get another one of these, but probably won't happen. Okay. And now. I think we have to sacrifice one of the machinateds and play a marksman. Alright. 
And now we have more cards in hand, so. Cool. Let's see. A Vanguard. Now. The Elder. Hmm. Good burn something, but I think it's better to get the uh get the elder out. So Hello Elder. And now we pray he doesn't have a pother. The flips are annoying as well. And next turn I could power trip. I could always power trip, but I Optimal times power trip is when you can get the extra card draw. Too bad this isn't a royal skirmish. I would have burned it last turn. And power bound, which makes me think he doesn't have a pother. Yep, because a good player like to overload. But no, you're supposed to pother first, so you can see what you get. Now, I think we have to. Huh. It's tough. Okay, if I dispersal him. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to bounce for something. Do I sack the burn or the machinator? As much as I love burn. As much as I love machinated, I think I have to keep the burn. Because it's not like I have anything that would really be of much use to the machinated right now and now I'll move you guys up and uh, I'd rather get the extra card than deal two damage to the power bounded ducal now if he has a blessing of haste like double focus I'll be annoyed but even then he still used a bunch of cards so I think we're at it there's a very up in the air game right now it's very even but I have a power trip, and he may or may not know that. Of course, he doesn't know that for a fact. And now, blessing of haste, and I'm going to be sad. And now, focus, I'm going to be even sadder. Yay! Well, not yay. Still pretty annoying. Um, what do I do here? I can take things out. That's for sure. I think I'm gonna power trip. Elder. Okay, so I can go. I can go burn and valence dispersal to clear his board. I think that's what we're gonna do. Burn. And then. VD. And I'll, we'll, we'll get to see the great shooting attack animation instead of uh, the marksman attack that you don't see anything. I could have done it both ways. I separate a little bit because I know Overlord is one of the few players right now who plays Manganels. So that power shot was able to clear his board. But now he could probably put it right back there. And that wing is not what I wanted to see because that means that he has extra move. Now. I'm going to get a forge, so I think I'll have to keep the storm runner. Storm runners are awesome. And bombard, I obviously want to keep at this point in the game. And pretty nice. We got a. Let's see. If I storm runner bombard, I can kill this guy or this guy. Why do I choose? Because I have the marks and abilities. Well, but if we want to wait to do a bombard or something, sudden rupture. I'm just thinking. I'm just gonna uh, burn, and then I'll play the storm runner over the cannon against order. And he has the move too, anyways, with a blessing face or something. So I'm not afraid to move up because if he's gonna blessing face, I, I mean, I could move down away from him. But whatever. And I'll put you right in the middle. If he wants to make an L speed, he probably doesn't have it right now, anyways. If he wants to, that'd be pretty annoying. But then I could go like bombard with Kennet or something. We do have a sudden eruption, but looks like we want to keep putting clues on the board than 
because Sudden Eruption is a nice card, but you have to have a lot of resources to make it effective. Unless the opponent doesn't have much. Alright, so that makes. I like it when people run away. Wing Soldier down there, interesting. Okay. Not sure why this guy just didn't go in the middle and put the Wing Shield in front and that behind. And two Bomb Zards are awesome. Um. Bombard. Bombard. Two Bombards. So. I think I'm just gonna bombard with a cannetta or some. Probably the best idea. I'm gonna sack the forge now. Ah, uh, too bad this guy's out of reach of all the things. Hmm, it's annoying. Forge can go. And I can go cannon at a bombard. I'm gonna get card draw for the bombard with this guy too, so I'm gonna do it. And now I can. This guy doesn't. This guy only reaches him, so I guess I'll have to just do that. And I want to kill the thing that's attacking. Put you there, and then I'll go with the shinier bombard. So that does damage to you, and then I'll go ahead and kill you. And deal some idle damage. I would have liked to use the Mark's ability on killing the Wing Shield because that would probably be a harder to kill, but I do have burns and stuff and sun eruptions, so it's fine. Now, Thea next turn would be awesome. Or I could always go keep filling up the board with Kenanas and Forges. But like I said, I think he has Manganel, so it'd be nice to get the out. Something that won't die to a Manganel. Okay. Um, I mean, fine. That is a... Or Thunder Surge is an option. Nah, I'm just gonna Thea. Thea yeah, so just kill this, I mean. Yeah, I'll can't another four. I think it's, I keeps drawing four just so I don't think I, I think I want to keep the other stuff. Thea time. Um, three plus one. You know what? Believe it or not, I'm gonna put the Thea in front. The six health is really nice. Yeah, sorry about that. So like I was saying, the 6L is really nice. He's going to need a focus to be able to take it down. So. If it dies, it dies. But then I have a Storm Runner attacking. And I'll put you in the back. And then I'll put you guys up here. So now Minion L Speed would do a lot for him this turn. Hmm. Now. But I have a bombard, so if this Thea manages to survive. Oh boy. Too bad I had to sack my imaginateds early. Okay, so that kills it and a focus. So Yeah. That wasn't too great, was it? <laughs> I don't know, I guess power trip. I don't always play with power trip, so I didn't get it, but it's not bad. So now, I think I'll just thunder surge. Or no, I don't think I'll thunder surge. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll. Thunder surge is six, so I can go thunder surge, cannon, and a bombard. Or I can go sack the Kenneta. And I like this option more. I go Thunder Surge. Hired Smuggler Bombard. So that way. I 
I can get rid of, I can dispose of you guys. And then draw a little bit. So I'm drawing two, two forges from that. So it's annoying having to use my bombards all the time, but I only draw one forge, I only tech that. But I'm getting the card back for with these guys back here. So that's really awesome. And that's an that's annoying Imperial because all these idols were damaged a little bit. But we'll have to live with that. Now, tough choice here. Two sudden eruptions is just really good. Now that I'm at eight roosters, I'm gonna have to keep those. I think I, I keep drawing the forges, so I think I'm okay stacking that. And I think I should just go with the cannon automaton. And I'll put you guys on the side, so I have the power to hit anything. I'm covering all lanes. He could easily just kabonk them and put stuff down. And that period will put him ahead in cards and resources. Not really resources, but cards. But I, as, as you can see, I got the major board control because of those power trips. So I really hope this starts my pursuit back to number one on the ladder. Yeah, I'll be playing with Scrolls again a lot more. Re uh, I haven't been recently, which I feel kind of bad about. But I did do the Brack and Brawl Owl stream on Saturday. And I was on the last Badger Cast uh, Hard Scrolls podcast. You can go check that out if you'd like. Now, hmm. I'm going to sack the Elder. Goodbye, Elder. Now, I could. No, I'm not going to sudden eruption. I could do that. I'm going to damage this guy instead of drawing the thing that I'm going to play two marksmen instead of the storm runner. I know, the but I don't think he's going to be clumping up, and I don't think the storm runners are going to have that many targets. So I think two marksmen are just going to be really, really, really threatening because they can attack from the other side of the board. I'm going to keep my positioning like that. I'm not going to try to engage him. And now, next turn, I can go for a sudden eruption and probably kill that wings uh, captain. Oh, that's always burnable as well. And I have at least one marksman attacking. See, three marksmen is really scary. I think they're even scarier than storm runners in a way. Against order, because all those three health creatures can just be sniped. Okay, and so what are you going to do? Spend general speed? Okay. Fine, do that, and what do you, and you get to kill. Okay, that's, that's annoying, I guess. Now, really nice if I can get a bombard. I'm gonna stack the iron whip here. Thea is nice, but I do think that a forge with a pot. Or I should I should have. I I. I I should, I should do this first. I was out of, out of order there. I shouldn't have played. So I'm going to burn it. But I was out of order there. I should, have, I should have done the other way around. So I can see what card I get. And I was an iron, only an iron whip. So it doesn't really come back to hurt me. Okay. So that gives me some protection. And that thing's gone. And sudden eruption is still an option. All these guys on the board. I think I don't have any more bombards in the in the deck. I'll have to wait for it to recycle. But all these guys are awesome. Okay. Probably get the Thea out next turn. Or actually, I don't know. 
Sun Rock should probably be better to get rid of this. goes for cards and a sudden eruption is what I play so that I can kill you draw another structure and have you guys down here continue to do your thing all right, looking good. That was a good sudden eruption, I think. Now next turn, I could always the a potion of resistance if I would like, unless I can get power trips and bombard, which I wouldn't do that. Okay, we slowly, we still, we're slowly holding on to the war control. He did imperial once or twice, so that's why he's almost making a comeback. So I'm able to keep him at bay mostly because I keep drawing all these cards from those guys. But he's just he is able to take one of them at this turn if you would like. Manganel speed, okay. Like I said, he has speeds. But we know if he has a flip or something to get rid of that. And a wing shield. It's really just manganel speed to get rid of two of those guys because that thing is already gonna die. And now, <laughs> I think, I guess we just, yeah, I think we just do, uh, get rid of the cannon now. And it's four things, so, I believe... A dust runner sudden eruption is the best play. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now we're at the same resources and we still have the board advantage and I have the cards. Another potion resistance for next time. But potion runs aren't great against order because of the flips and pothers and stuff. Okay. That that's that's a I feel like a pretty mediocre turn for him. I mean, maybe he didn't have anything else, but he just, now he's no cards and fine. Kill that big, big wolf. Now, what do we want to do? You know what? No Thea. No Thea this turn. I'm going to actually sacrifice some resistance. No Thea because a bombard is cool, but we're not going to use it this turn. No Thea because I want to um, just go double storm under here. The reason I put the forge over the Canetta is because we want I want more defense now. I'm gonna start hitting that a little lower so I can maybe start to lower it enough. Okay, this gives me a lot of coverage of the board because I have a bar, bar next turn. I hope he doesn't have another manganel speed for this squad. But the chances of having a manganel speed in his hand right now are so slim. Even if he had it, I think we're still ahead of the game. Even if he did that. Because that would be all he could do. Reversal. Power bound. Alright. Probably all he can do. Is he's running on top decks right now so okay now maybe I shouldn't have gone with all those yeah power chip thunder surge is nice but I think I'm gonna via bombard this turn maybe able to win No, I can't win. But I can certainly come pretty close, I believe. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll sack her resources. I don't need three forges, I don't think. Actually, it's four. Actually, I don't. I'm gonna sack her cards. Okay, fine. I'll go like this. I'll machinate you. I may actually have been able to win, but whatever. And then I'll go with a. I want to separate a little bit. And then I'll go with a Thea right there. So yeah, I could be destroyed with a minion of speed, but again, he keeps just top decking right now. He's at 11 resources from the power bounds and the Imperials, but he's very little cards. I know he's testing with power bounds and heritages instead of them, but I don't know. I think heritage is a little too highly costed. It might cost too much tempo. Okay, and now we might be able to win very soon. So let's see. Bombard with a. Let's see. That's six and that's seven. Let's see, so two plus seven and then two and then six. And GG, I think. I think it's GG. Well, I'll get you out of the way just in case. So that's two plus seven is enough to destroy that at all. That's enough there, and then I just go elder, and then a smuggler just for the car drive. It doesn't matter, and bombard. Well played. So we were able to keep Order at bay that match. Not surprising, Order still feels a little underpowered compared to other factions. The only reason I think I lost to uh, uh, the Overlord last match in ranked is because um, I really didn't get quite good draws. And um, not no knock, on, no, no knock on, the Overlord is a great Order player, but just the decks right now as they match up, just Order feels a little underpowered. So back in second at least, I'll try to get to first by before in my next video. So. Sorry I haven't been making that many scroll videos lately, and I hope to uh, go back to my trend like before last week. So, thanks for watching, subscribe if you uh, like my content, like the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Keep on